Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you step by step how to carve this cardinal. I hope you enjoy the video. Alright guys, so the first thing we're going to need to get is a log that's going to be the right size for the carving that we're going to be doing. So I've got a pile of them over here, so let's go get one. Alright, so I've got a few maple logs left in this little pile. We're looking for one that's going to be about 6 inches in diameter. So this piece here should do nice. Uh, we're going to take about a foot off the end of this, and that's going to be our log. All right, so we've got our log. Next thing we're gonna need to do is get it in the jaw horse, and clamp it down, back in, there we go. Then clamp it down so it's not gonna be moving around on us. There we go. Okay, so the first two cuts that we're gonna be making are gonna be right here and right here. So it's a little bit wider up front than it is back here. This will be the tail section back here, so it'll narrow down a little bit. We'll go about four to five inches deep with these, and then cut them off at the sides. It does help to have gas in the saw. Alright, so here's how the carving looks after we did those two cuts. Uh, now we're going to go around the front and draw on the profile of the cardinal. So this is how it looks after those cuts. Now we're going to get into some smaller cuts. So I'm going to switch over to my steel battery saw with the dime tip bar. Alright, now we're going to switch over to the side profile. And the beak will be about here. And we're going to go up from there at about a 45 degree angle and then down towards the back like that. Alright, so this is how it looks after doing those two cuts. Now we're going to start shaping the carving out more. We're going to take all the corners off and just start to round out the whole carving. Alright, so here's how it looks after we got it all rounded out. Uh, it's starting to get more like the shape of a bird. Uh, now the next cut we're going to make, we're going to start about right here and follow the angle here and cut up underneath the tail 
and leave about a quarter inch of wood for the tail. Okay, so here's how we look now. I got the tail shaped out a little more. So I started with this big cut here and then cut the sides off following the shape of the bird and then cut the tail off to the length I thought looked good. So now we're done with the chainsaw work on this carving. So now we're gonna use a die grinder with a cut saw bit and we're going to use this to shape out the beak by carving underneath the beak and then we'll use it on the sides to carve out spots for the eyes. So here's how we look after the die grinder. Now I'm going to move to a smaller Dremel tool and finish detailing the eyes. Alright, so now I got both the eyes done. The important thing with these is to keep checking it from the front to make sure that they line up with each other. You don't want one higher than the other or further away from the beak. Just always try to get symmetry in the eyes. All right, now we get to use the propane torch to burn off all the little fuzz left behind by the chainsaw. Uh, this will also burn off all of the bar and chain oil that's on the carving before we paint it. Okay, now for the next step, we'll use some 80 grit sandpaper. We'll just go over the whole thing and smooth it up a little bit. All right, so we've got the carving all sanded down. Now we're gonna seal it with some, this is the sealer I use. It's Pittsburgh Ultra Advanced Waterproof and Sealant. It is the clear. So we'll put this on and then we'll let it dry. So the carving is sealed and it's had some time to dry. Now we're going to start painting it. The paint I use is Rust-Oleum. This is Regal Red. And I'm just using a disposable chip brush. I do a dry brush technique where I'll just get a little bit of paint and just lightly go over the whole carving. Okay, so here it is after the red. Um, try to keep it off of the beak because the beak is going to stay the wood color. And now we'll do a little bit of airbrush work with some black. So the black paint that I use for my airbrush is Rust-Oleum. It's flat black. Um, I'll apply this with an airbrush because it gives you a lot more control over where the, where the paint goes. Alright guys, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. And you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Drent Design. Thanks.